Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a recipe to share with you today. Actually, I have two recipes to share with you and this first one comes from the Martha Stewart magazine and it's for a rack of lamb and I'm also going to be sharing with you another recipe for a rack of lamb from another book that complements one of our history units that we're doing right now in our homeschool. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our spices for this rack of lamb. It's actually a really easy recipe and it tastes really good. So I'm going to kind of bring out the flavor of those spices by kind of heating them up on the stove with a little bit of olive oil. Now the recipe calls for doing this in the oven. It's kind of a dry um, heat, but I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil in this case. So I've got some cumin seeds and some coriander seeds, and the recipe calls for about two teaspoons of each, and I'm just eyeballing it at this point. Now you wanna keep an eye on this because it will heat up and possibly burn really quickly. It depends on how brown you want them. They will start to be aromatic right away it smells amazing so at this point I want to remove them from the heat you can see that it's getting quite hot at this point and I'm going to transfer them to my mortar mortar and pestle and this is made out of volcanic rock and it's nice and big and actually you can find these for making guacamole and I find them to be just right for also preparing my spices so I'm going to just crush them gently and then once they're kind of like a paste almost I'm going to prepare my meat so I've got a rack of lamb here and I have to say for our family, this goes super fast. <laughs> so I'm just going to coat that rack of lamb. Now I didn't trim off any of the fat, but the recipes do call for you trimming the fat and just leaving enough for flavor, but I leave it just as it is and then we just eat around it, but I like that flavor. So I'm also going to add some salt and a little bit of pepper to this. And of course you have all of those rich spices that are just going to kind of coat that rack of lamb and just once it's cooked, it's really amazing. So we're gonna pop it in the oven. You wanna keep an eye on this. You don't wanna overcook it. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare my other recipe. This is from the book called The Silk Road Gourmet by Laura Kelly. And we're going to do a rack of lamb that has some Afghan spices. Now this goes along with some of our homeschool lessons. We're studying the Silk Road. And so we're going to be making this recipe as well. So we're gonna make some Afghan char masala. And for this, you need five spices two teaspoons of cloves. So I'm using whole spices for all of this except for the cinnamon. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of black cardamom and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I start to add more, but then I, I put a little bit back because you just need one teaspoon. And then one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of cinnamon, which I did a little bit less because I only had the ground cinnamon. Now you can play around with these spices and add a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what kind of flavors you like, but I wanted to stick pretty closely to the recipe just so that we could experience some of these flavors. Luckily, I had all of those spices on hand because we do cook a lot of Indian food and there's a lot of crossover in some of these spices with some of these different regions that we were studying. So I'm gonna crush those black cardamom seeds. I'm not really sure if, if the recipe actually called just for the seeds, not the whole pod. But once we were done grinding it, I decided to remove some of those larger fibers because I didn't think they would be really nice to be eating. And I didn't grind this using like an electric grinder. So now we want to poke some holes in our, <laughs> in our rack of lamb using a fork. And that's just to get all those flavors just to kind of get into the meat. So I'm just going to do that throughout the front of our rack of lamb. Then I'm going to season with a little bit of cayenne pepper as well as some salt. We want to do the front and the back. And once that's nice and seasoned, and also the, the, the red pepper wasn't even that spicy, so you could definitely add more if you want a little bit more spice. But once that's done, we're going to add our Afghan char masala, and I'm going to use all of what I've made, and I'm going to coat the front and the back, and make sure that it gets rubbed into all of those crevices and spaces. And again, I didn't trim the fat for this recipe either. So once that's all prepared, the recipe calls for adding some b uh, beef broth. Now I didn't have any beef broth, but I did have some duck bone broth. 
And so I'm going to add that instead. And I want to make sure not to get any of the spices that I included with my bone broth. And actually, I should have put a little bit more because that kind of cooked off really quickly. So now let's check on both of our rack of lambs. They're looking really good. And I'm going to be checking them periodically because I didn't include the... Um, I have like these probes that you can cook with. I didn't include that. So I'm just going to check them periodically to make sure that we don't overcook them. Now the rack of lambs were each a little bit different. One was a little bit smaller than the other. So one actually cooked faster than the other. So once we pop them out, we wanna just make sure that they are, they've reached 145 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the whole rack of lamb and they did. So one part was a little bit more cooked than the other, but I wanted to make sure that they were fully cooked, but you don't want to overcook it. Otherwise, you're really going to lose some of that moistness and that flavor from your lamb. Now it's time to chop them up and to add it to our rice dish. They look so beautiful and they taste even better. This went by so fast. By the time one rack of lamb was done and I was waiting on the next one, it was devoured. <laughs> it's a really good recipe, so make extra just in case. So I'm going to pair it with this pomegranate rice, which you can find that recipe down in the description box below or at the blog post that accompanies this video. It's an amazing rice recipe. I also got it from the Martha Stewart magazine that goes along with one of the lack of, uh, rack of lambs that I cooked today. And this is what it looks like all paired together. It is such a delicious meal. I highly, highly recommend you try it. It is one of our family favorites and it is always a hit every single time. And this time around, we liked both of those rack of lamb recipes. So I highly encourage you to check out the book, The Silk Road Gourmet for that recipe as well as more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. You can find that link down in the description box below. If you'd like to check out some of our other cooking tutorials or some of our other homeschool tutorials, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you'd like to see what we're eating and how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.